Maybe. You know what I'll do? I'll tell my Casey Sizika story. People like this. I had the the internet inquiring. The real ones might know this one. This is a story I think we've told on JJR a few times. Uh, so Sizikis, who scored the game-winning goal uh, in the Islanders game, the game of the night. Me, Jimmy, our friend Ken, and our friend Ben went to a Bridgeport Sound Tigers hockey game. And they were playing Hartford's minor league team, the Wolfpack. So Jimmy's mom reached out to Jimmy and said, do you guys want to go to a Hartford Wolfpack game? And we said, yeah, like four sure. tickets, we'll get buddies. Yeah, we were up, up in New Britain, and Hartford's really close to New Britain. A little Connecticut geography for everyone. So we were excited, you know. We're, yeah, we'll go to a hockey game, probably have a couple beers. So we get the tickets. We're all excited to go. We're committed to going. We find out that the game is in Bridgeport, not Hartford, which is just a different part of Connecticut. Instead of like 15 minutes away, it's an hour away. And I think it was like an hour before the game. So we kind of did this whole like, okay, are we doing it? Are we doing it? Are we doing it? We did it. We decided we were having the best day ever, so we kept calling it the best day ever. So, you know, we have some drinks. We go to the game. And it's a good game. I think it actually goes to overtime. I think it went to overtime. And the Bridgeport Sound Tigers at the time, and maybe now, I believe they're the Islanders like minor league team, like their AAA team. So, they score what looks to be a game-winning goal. And everyone, like, comes off the ice. They, they celebrate, and then they start walking off the ice. But they start, they review it. Which, you know, we didn't even, you know, minor league hockey. I don't know if they, if they had reviews. They did. So, our seats, they were pretty good seats. I think that's part of the reason we got hyped up for it. It was right near the tunnel. So we're like kind of on the board near the tunnel where the players would walk in and out. So because they thought they won, they celebrated and they started walking off. So they were off the ice in the tunnel. So all the guys were like chilling right next to us. Uh, so my buddy Ken, who's a human idiot, for lack of a better term, he's stoked. He's right near the dudes. He's like, boy, what's up? We partying after this, blah, blah, blah. And, uh... And a couple of guys, you know, think about who minor league hockey players are. You know, a couple of guys are like, yeah, hell yeah, like mm -hmm. they're stoked. Uh, so my buddy Ken says, oh, should we go to the casino after this? And one of the players turns their head and goes, imagine? <laughs> Which was really <laughs> funny because you're like, okay, <laughs> you probably... You know, if you have a signing bonus or, you know, you're a young dude playing professional hockey, making money playing hockey. You, you've you probably had some fun and you're probably going to have fun. So we just thought, we thought that was really interesting that it was like, imagine, like it blew his mind. We looked it up. It was Casey Sizikis. Mm -hmm. He was 19, so he'd probably never legally been to a casino. He and felt he couldn't. He, but the other funny part was he was like a prospect for them, so he had like a legit signing bonus and was like paid and stuff as a kid. But I mean, we were losing it. We still make the imagine joke to this day. <laughs> imagine, like, yeah, dude, I can imagine going to the casino, having a good time after a hockey win. It seems like a good time, <laughs> and you forget how young some people are. So. That is the Casey Sizikis story. Um, I've been burning on my chest all night. Maybe we'll discuss that on JJR again. Maybe follow up on JJR and see what details of that story I got wrong because I don't have the best memory. Uh, and Jim's pretty good at that.